Star Trek Continues has allowed me to do a lot of things in production that I've always loved, whether it's acting or directing or writing or uh, prop building or painting sets, editing episodes, sound design, but I love music, I think, most of all. And the music for Star Trek Continues is an extremely important thing because the original series of Star Trek was, I mean, the music was very much a part of the, the style and the feel of the show, and it immediately conjures up uh, the mood of the original series. So it was always my intention to use the original series music, but you have to be able to alter it and uh, customize it to match your particular story. It's a lot more complicated than just like taking a, a track from the original series and dropping it in. You have to know what kind of mood you want to create and, and what track will fit that mood best. But even more than that, what if the track doesn't fit? What if it's too short or too long? or uh, weird things happen in the middle. Here's an example. This is an original music cue from the Enterprise incident, and you can see how it plays naturally. Stick a parlay. And yet, the fact remains. The Enterprise violates the interstellar law by entering Romulan space. Shall we call it war now, Captain Kirk? So it doesn't quite fit. So I'll go in and cut it up and even play in something original and spread it out so it doesn't stomp on anyone's lines and times out perfectly with what we're doing. Mr. Spock's message requesting a parlay. Yet the fact remains. The Enterprise violated interstellar law by entering Romulan space. Shall we call it war now, Captain Kirk? Or wait for an official declaration? I really love taking a, an original piece from the original series and, and then uh, creating something new. For instance, in episode 10, there's a scene at the beginning with Spock and McKenna. Well, I wanted to use the Vulcan theme somewhere in our series, and this seemed like the perfect and the last opportunity to do it. But the problem was that the Vulcan theme is only so long, and the scene is two to three times longer. I'm sure you recognize that, but it's not long enough for the scene. So I've gone back this whole opening section here and I've created something original. This track is the vibraphone. And then you add the gong. And then, there's a very slight drone going underneath of this whole piece. I have a wonderful orchestra library called Vienna Symphonic Library. And I will go to my strings, cello solo, and then I will load a performance solo cello and then I'll work out the melody. And then I'll record it in MIDI. Then I'll put an audio track and record, put a little reverb on it to make it nice and smooth, and transfer it to audio. Most people won't even know it, um, unless you're really familiar with the original series, which is kind of fun if people don't recognize that there's a little something different about that. And that's part of customizing. Uh, each of these tracks for our episodes. Now let me just say, I'm no Andy Farber. I mean, Andy Farber is a genius and he has scored entire original orchestral pieces that have been performed by uh, a real orchestra. 
that's just a whole different level. And his music is showcased front and center in episode 11. So if there's a piece that is just what I want, but it's not in the same key as the piece that I want to merge it to, then maybe I can uh, change the key. But I want to put it into another piece that's not the same key. So sometimes I'll just pitch shift so that it matches the piece before it seamlessly. And perhaps I may even want uh, a piece of original series music to have maybe a little more energy to it. Uh, there's a scene in episode 10 where I added a snare drum. I played a snare drum in because I wanted to have a little more energy. Or uh, a cymbal crescendo, or a timpani roll, or a gong, or a harp glissando. Uh, things to help add a particular hit or a particular uh, moment to our episode. I certainly loved playing Captain Kirk, but I think one of my favorite jobs has been the music editing. Music is so important. Music is so vital to the emotion and the energy of the scene and being able to craft the music just the way you want to and in some cases even create something original has, uh, has been one of my favorite parts of Star Trek Continues.